Hello, this is uh, Gregory Zalfman from SharePoint Maven. Uh, it's been a while since I posted uh, videos to my YouTube channel. So uh, with this video, I hope that I will be doing so on a regular basis. Uh, the topic, uh, the video I would like to show you today is I would like to demonstrate to you how to upgrade from classical SharePoint sites to modern uh, looking sites in SharePoint. Uh, now, this is a very common request. Um, as you probably are aware, uh, over the last couple of years, Microsoft has modernized SharePoint and they introduced what we can now call uh, modern sites or modern page experience. Uh, so if you, for example, create an Office 365 group or a communication site, a communication site um, you pretty much um, start with a, a modern looking um, site, modern looking page. Uh, however, obviously, lots of organizations uh, still have uh, the classical sites, uh, just like I have in my case, right? What you see right now on the screen is the landing page um, for the or the internet. In this case, it's the landing page for uh, for a company, and obviously, because it was created several years ago, it's in classical experience. So, how do we convert from classical to modern? So the bad news is uh, there is really no magic, you know, button uh, that you can press and it will magically convert your site to modern um, experience. Um, however, the good news is that converting your existing site to modern page experience is actually not that hard. Uh, when we're talking about converting from classical to modern, we really don't mean the site. We really, we really mean the page. Uh, the site will stay as is. So uh, if you have your site created with calendars, uh, document libraries, custom lists, maybe some other apps, the site will remain as is. Uh, you don't need to create a new site. All you have to do really is just to create a new page. All right. It's just the look and feel. It's just the page. Uh, so how do we upgrade? So how do we upgrade from classical to modern? It's pretty easy. All you have to do is just add an extra page to your site. And it will be by default, and that's the good news is uh, that by default, any new page you add to your site will be a modern page. Um, so uh, what I would like to demonstrate to you now is, how, you know, I would like to convert this uh, internet site that I have, company internet site, to the modern page experience. Uh, we could really do it to any site. Um, you know, I could go to one of my sub-sites, um, which is also classical and converted as well. In your case, of course, you will need to do it one by one. Um, so let me, uh, let's stay with uh, with this uh, internet landing page. Let's convert it to uh, modern page experience. How do we do it? Um, so it actually involves two steps. Uh, step number one, we have to um, create the page. All right, you will probably spend more time um, doing so, um, some a few minutes probably doing so, and then the second step we need to tell SharePoint this uh, that our uh, modern page is the new home page, right? Because by default the the old page is kind of the default home page. Um, in case if I just confused you, don't worry. Uh, let me do the steps and I will show you, and hopefully it will become all clear. All right, step number one. All we need to do is just go to the gear icon and click add a page. We're adding an extra page to our SharePoint site. And if you notice, look at this. By default, as promised, it's a modern page. We get modern page experience. And what we can do now, we can customize it. So, um, you know, this banner area, we can call it um, internet. Now, Sometimes this banner does make sense, but you know what? In most cases, I, I like to delete it, remove it, because it just in my, you know, takes uh, so much real estate on the screen. Um, if you have a nice picture, a nice banner, feel free to change it, but I'm going to delete it. Too much, uh, too much, takes too much space on my screen. All right, the next thing we can do is, you know, what we, we can do is add components. Um, now, before we do that, one, one thing I actually like to do is, uh, break my uh, my page into different sections. Uh, I like the three columns just because I can fit a lot of you know stuff into the three columns. 
uh, on the screen. And you know what? That's one of the best practices actually, because I don't want my users to um, scroll too much, you know, uh, up and down, right? Um, you know, most users, right? They get on the side, they uh, check out the news or events, um, links on the site, etc., and they, they rarely, you know, scroll down, up and down. Okay. So I like this three column layout. Uh, let's go and add some components. So this is the internet landing page. Now your components will obviously differ depending on the, uh, on what, it, uh, what kind of site you are building. In our case, it's the main internet landing page. So we might as well uh, just, um, you know, build some components and add some components that you typically would see on the internet. Uh, for example, news, right? Company news is a good one. Here we go. Component number one. Uh, the second component, um, something you typically see on the landing pages, right? Um, maybe some upcoming events. Uh, you want to know when uh, um, there are company holidays, uh, when the company is closed, etc. So we'll add in the calendar. Uh, let's add a couple of um, uh, other web parts. Uh, another one I really like is this quick links. Uh, let's do the, uh, let's call it quick links. And um, adding a link is uh, super straightforward. We can uh, add a link to anything on the site. Um, we can upload a file, but in our case, I'm just going to uh, uh, link uh, to my website. Or oh, it could be any URL, of course, right? Perfect. Here we go and you can specify uh, the description and you can also change the icon if you uh, google for some free clip art you can uh, you can uh, you know uh, you can upload some nice icons here so perfect i just uh, added uh, my link um let's add another component um and by the way i, I really like this uh, web part um, uh, this is just a divider and just on a visually uh, an nice way to separate, um, you know, um, to, to you know separate two different web parts. Um, we can add this one. This is a, a nice model to have. Maybe you want to highlight employee of the month or you know somebody's birthday. Uh, here we go. Let's do this. And uh, I'm going to make myself an employee of the month. All right. Perfect. Excellent. All right, so now we build, I mean, obviously um, you can continue building your site, uh, but you know, my, my preference, and I think it's considered the best practice, uh, try to keep it as simple as possible. Don't overload, uh, don't make it too busy, you know, prevent a lot of scroll up and down. Uh, I think this is more than enough for our landing page. So now we have two choices here. We can either save our page or we can publish it. Uh, when I click save, it just literally saves my changes, but they're not available to anyone else. All right. So if I want the changes to be available to 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 everyone else, I need to publish it. Publish pretty much uh, makes the site. The, I'm sorry, the page. Um, have to be careful careful with terminology here. Uh, publish means that the page is available for everyone else to enjoy. So we might as well just do this, hit publish. Here we go, we publish the page. Great. Now, step number one is completed. Remember how I said uh, in the beginning, it's actually a two-step process. We, we, we created our new modern page, but let me show you what happen, what's happening here. Let me click on this home button. Look at this. I went back to my site, to my site, but for what, some reason, uh, it goes back to my old classical page. How come? Because we just created the modern, uh, the modern page. Well, that's because we did not tell SharePoint this. Our modern page is the new home page. Is it the default page? Right. When you go to the site URL, uh, right. What happens is that it defaults to the, well, to the default page. And in our case, it's still classical. So what we need to do now is we need to do this quick step uh, where we need to make our new modern page the home page. How do we do this? We need to go behind the scenes to the library called site pages. That's where all the pages are stored. Any pages you create, 
uh, in 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 your on your site, uh, whether they're you know news announcement pages or just some extra wiki pages, they all end up in this library called site pages. So to go there, you go to site contents, uh, and you need to find a library called site pages. Here we go. That's where all the pages are stored. And look at this. So here is this home.aspx. That's the classical page uh, that was created by default when I created this site, uh, I guess, uh, three years ago, right? Now, this is the new page I just created, all right? Here it is. And what we need to do now is we need to make this page the home page. How do we do it? Um, it's nice and easy. Right click, make home page. So it just tells you here this page is now the site homepage. And if I click on, um, actually, in, let me not uh, let me uh, not click uh, on the home. Let me just go back to my URL, um, and it should resolve automatically. This is my site URL. And look at this. By default, it goes to the modern page now. So this is our new. Uh, modern page that everyone will get to see. Now, the old page did not really go away. Remember, I didn't really delete it or anything like that. It's still in the site pages library. And um, if, if for whatever reason you need to, to access it, um, you, you, you can access it just by going to site contents uh, and then navigate into um, site pages library. Uh, but now all you have to do is just pretty much repeat this step for the remainder of the site and you should be all set. As, as you saw, it uh, it's not that hard at all. Uh, literally took me, um, you know, a few seconds to do. Uh, and um, I think now that you've seen this video, you should uh, you should have enough information to, to modernize your internet. Um, I also published a, a, a detailed step-by-step -step, um, blog post, uh, which I will inclu include, include a link to uh, in the comments, in the I'm sorry, in the description for this video. So feel free to check it out, uh, and um, uh, hopefully this video, along with the step-by-step -step instructions and images, will help you modernize your internet. Thank you very much for enjoying this video, and uh, I hope uh, to see you virtually soon again. Goodbye.